Wow, that's bright. Good morning. Much better the second time. <laughs> Today I'm super excited because I finally got an attachment for my phone to go on my tripod. So um, this is all of a sudden a whole lot easier filming. I am trying to take these little guys, there we go, um, and put them on my wires down here. Today's project, getting these lights put together. Um, so I had, I did one a couple of days ago with these, um, oh, I forgot what they're called and they work just fine. So this light's working. Um, but there was another kind of thing my dad told me about these little guys, which I probably should have just gone with these cause they were really easy to install. Um, I thought these are going to be simple too. I started to uh to try it and you're supposed to just be able to like clamp it together on the wire and it was not staying so um i'm gonna have to try a different method i want to make sure they're like a little bit rattle proof you know just since the bus is going to be moving around so much and like i want to be able to tug on it a little bit without it just like coming out um i've been watching another girl's videos and she like soldered the end of her wires um and like I've seen a couple of people do that and I watched a guy's video the other day that said it wasn't necessary and it honestly just looks like a really hard like complicated step so I'm gonna avoid that hopefully with these um we'll see how well it works um I don't know if you guys can see this whoops kind of there's like a little metal piece on the inside of the tube. So I've got my two little pieces of test wire here. I just clipped off um, a new little section off of these two rolls I got. So I just got one red and one black, both 100 feet, um, 14 gauge stranded wire. Um, I've heard that stranded wire works best for a project like this. So I'm just gonna take it and put it in here. Oh no. Guys, I got the wrong size. Ugh. I walked around Home Depot for like 20 minutes yesterday trying to find these. I was even late to meet up with my friend. Ah! okay I'm I'm just gonna have to take them back <sighs> I was thinking I'll just take these back and get the next size up but now that I think about it these little washer nut things I don't know I still don't know what they're called um, I think they do pretty much the same thing. Um, let me see if I can find one and like look at the inside. So I just walked around the garage and the house and outside for like a solid 20 minutes trying to find this little tiny pack. Yeah, it was in my pocket. It's been a long morning, okay? Anyways, I found them. Um, so now I can kind of show you guys what the inside looks like. Ooh, there's like a little bit of a silver thing in there. I guess I should make sure this size fits now that I've done all that work to find it. I guess the point of these is pretty much the same as these. You stick your wires in here and then they're touching the metal. So even if they're not touching each other all the time perfectly, if they touch anything in there, it'll still make the connection because that metal is touching another part of the other wire somewhere. Walking alone, trailer for the sailor in. Man, trailer for the sailor in. Ain't got no sailor Well, clearly crimping like that is not working. Um, and it tore a hole in the little plastic piece. 
I'm gonna have to figure out another option. Okay, so I talked to my dad about the wiring and I think we solved it. Um, taking a break for tonight to walk Charlie because I couldn't look at those wires anymore. So tomorrow I'm going to be gone, but Friday when I get back, I'll start on the wiring, figured out a lot of stuff, um, pretty much everything I was confused about. So I'm hoping that it will go nice and easy on Friday. That's the hope anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Good morning. I did research on wiring last night. I found out I do have the correct gauge wire. It just, I think what's already in here um, in some spots is a little different. And I realized I was kind of tripping myself up about nothing. Um, as you can see, all these wires hanging down behind me, they all go to this cute little box over here. Um, all of that is turned on when the bus comes on and I don't want that to happen. Um, what I want is my solar panel set up to turn it on. So what I'm gonna do is cut all the wires somewhere in here um, and then just tuck them back over there. So my first step is going to be just to go through, look at all of them, figure out which wires go where, um, figure out which ones are all the lights, uh, so which ones I cut, because <laughs> I don't wanna cut the wrong ones because that would suck. The only ones I'm not gonna clip are the speakers. So that's my project for today. I've only got a couple hours. So um, I'm gonna do what I can with that. And then when I get back on Friday, I'm gonna start running the new wires. <laughs> bunch of the stuff covering the wires. I pulled it off for right now. I'm just gonna save it because I feel like I might need it later to protect my wires um, and keep them all nice and neat. But labeling them, it's kind of hard to see, but labeling them when you pull them down when you first tear apart the bus is important. Um, so I've got all those guys. Um, there's only one that runs the length of it and it just goes to a light back in the corner over there where that towel is. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing to this side, figure out what I got going on, and then start cutting at some wires. my tattoo. Sorry Sawyer, definitely gonna need a touch up on that. Okay so now that everything's free I am gonna start tracing wires around the bus, see what goes to where, see what's actually hooked up um, and what's not. So down here these ones are connected to a switch there's also a switch like it in the front um, this one's hidden like in the wall so I'm just gonna cut the wires out so I'm just gonna cut them out and leave the little bits of the ends of the wires in there um, since I can't get that close um, and then just take these little wire nuts that's what they're called wire nuts ah! and I dropped it um, so I'm gonna take these and just cap the ends of them. This one, for some reason, I thought I wasn't gonna have to move it, um, which I'm not really sure why I did that, um, but I kind of spray foamed it into the wall. So oh, it does still have some wiggle like, room though. So I'm gonna take this out because I'm pretty sure it went to the lift that used to be back here. I don't know because the lift was already taken out by the time I got the bus. So I don't know for sure, but it does go right into the door frame. So there's not, oh, I guess I should check the light that's right there. I know there's a light right under my door. So I'm gonna go run around and check that 
And if it doesn't run to the light, then I'm just gonna cut it out because it probably went to the lift. There's a whole mess of wires underneath the bus, especially like right in this back door area, but it doesn't look like this one goes to that light. It looks like the light is in the back corner. So um, I'm just gonna cut this one out. It must've gone to the lift. <laughs> I sprayed this in real good. Um, I think the wire will come out, but I don't think all of this will. So I'm just gonna cut a section out of it. Leave the rest in the wall. So I don't have any more wires running the length of the bus on this side, um, which is cool. And I got the one out of the wall, which is really cool. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get that one. I even got the like plastic housing stuff that goes around it. I think that might be as much wire cutting as I can do for right now because I literally only have one more wire nut um, of the right size. So I'm gonna have to go get some more. That will probably be an on my way home mission. So I guess I'm going to look around um, see what I can do next. I might build a little, um, thing to hold my wire so that it doesn't unspool itself. Um, so I can just get to working on putting in new wire as soon as I get back. I feel like I might be able to use a coat hanger, but I don't know if they're too heavy. I'm going to have to try it out. I was able to rig up something pretty quickly that I feel like might work pretty well. I just took a hanger and like broke the bottom of it and then retaped it, put them on. So I think that'll work. Nice. Now I'm not gonna have a mess of wire everywhere. Good morning. So it snowed again while I was gone. So it's freezing in here, but I'm finally back to working on the bus. It is a little snowy outside, but it's not currently snowing and it's not supposed to rain for another few hours. So I think we're gonna try and take this window out. Um, there's been some issues with it leaking. I had to put towels and stuff down here. The towels ended up getting soaked and I had to put this one down here because the water started to go underneath my garage, which is not good. Um, so my wood expanded and now I have to, well, I was gonna have to remount it anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but now I'm going to have to make it just a little bit higher. Um, so I put this here just to catch the water that's coming off of this window, but I don't want any mold issues or anything and I don't want water in my wall. So, um, hopefully getting that window taken out today. I think my dad is coming out to help me right now. Um, so, Hopefully that will all be taken care of by the end of the day. We're just gonna start with this one window, but we'll see if we can get more than that. I've got four windows that need it done. So all we're gonna do is pull all the screws out, strip the butyl tape that's already around it, clean the surface, and then put new butyl tape on, push it back up and screw it back in. It's a project that I can't do all by myself just cause I don't want to end up breaking the window. So we're going to get to that and um, hopefully it all goes well and relatively quickly. So yesterday we finally took out this window. I was trying to record it and my phone got about two minutes through it and then said my storage was full. So now I've finally deleted things and got a little closer to up to date on my videos. So I didn't get any footage of that unfortunately, but um, it looks like the seal is working just fine. I still have my Tupperware under here just in case and a couple of towels just in case it didn't seal right, but it's been raining off and on all day. It seems like it's holding fine. Um, we're not going to know till there's a big rain, but right now it seems like it's doing okay. It took three of us to get it out and get it all cleaned and resealed back in, somebody on the outside of the window, and then two people undoing all the screws around the edge. Um, and then when we put it back up, we had two people on the outside and then I pulled it from the inside um, and then just adjusted it into the right spot. So it seems like it's in the right place. Hopefully it actually is. Um, all the screws went in really nice and easy. Um, 
which I'm kind of surprised about. I thought that part would be terrible, but yeah, it's not too bad. It took three of us about two, two and a half hours to do. But of course the first one's gonna be the worst. At least one is down and it was the one that was leaking the worst. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna have any more issues with it. That would be great. So with these, um, oh, I forgot what they're called. Lock nut washers, maybe? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> but it's a project that, excuse me. <laughs> these little washer nut things i don't know i still don't know what they're called i guess they must be 12 gauge 12 gauge no 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 these are 18 gauge the little ones on the lights because <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing same as these these have the whoop, of those little um what are they called wire nuts wire nuts i don't know my dad said the ones on the wall are 14 gauge everybody said 14 gauge is what you use this says 14 gauge must be 14 gauge that's what it looks like oh where's the camera 